Hey Cyberspace, this is Luke Abair from the Cyberical Engineering Offices outside of New Orleans, Louisiana with another Cyber Aware Tip of the Day. Today, I'm going to give you some practical tips about generating good passwords. Even if you lightly use the World Wide Web, odds are that you have a password for a user account that you can't live without. Odds are that you really have tens of them. Uh, but having a guessable or brute forceable password can leave your account on your favorite website vulnerable to hackers. So I'm going to show you one of the many ways to generate a good password that will protect your website account from being guessable and brute forceable. So one approach, start with a common word such as cabbage. Now it's all lowercase and this would be easily guessed. Well, let's modify this word to be something that's not an English word, but still something that I can remember for myself. So take out the cab, and then synonymous with cab, taxi. That's something that I can remember. Uh, to further reduce the guessability, I'll now put some special characters in, uh, as well as capitals and numbers. So I'll capitalize the X, and then maybe turn the I into a 1, and then put an at symbol for the A. And then now there's a larger character set to work from. Uh, and finally, I need to increase the length of the password so that it would take an infeasible time for any hacker's computer to work through all the permutations of my character set that I used to generate this password. So, going off of the original cabbage, let's add capital V, veggies at the end. This is a pretty significant length for a password, I think we'd all agree. Um, so, this is something that I can remember, and it's also something that no one could easily guess. And this password's length would make brute forcing it drag on for many, many years. That satisfies my two main concerns with passwords, so I can conclude that this one's a pretty good one. One last solid tip, come up with your own creative way to come up with your passwords. The options really are endless. Once you have your own method, as long as it creates very dissimilar passwords in the end, stick to that method, and then don't tell anyone your method. For more tips and tricks, check out staysafeonline.org, or you can check out our website at cyberical.com.